My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. When I was much younger, I saw thousands and thousands of people fail jam and unable to gain admission. This made me travel in time. Now I am back with the Flash Letter Jam app and a series on YouTube tagged 120 Days to Jam. My mission is to help you blast jam and as well get justice for everyone who jam has served breakfast. This is episode number 75 of the 120 Days to Jam Mathematics with Flash Isaac. In this episode, we shall be looking at questions on the coordinates geometry and under equations of line. The first question here is find the equation of a line that is parallel to y is equals minus 4x plus 2. And it is passing through the coordinates 2, 3. Equation of line that is parallel. Ladies and gentlemen, for parallel lines, their gradients are the same. If two lines are parallel, the gradient of the first line is the same as the gradient of the second line, which means the gradient of this line will be the same as the gradient of this line. In other words, as the slope of the other line. In some cases, the equation of line they will give you the first line, y will not be subject formula. They will just give you equation containing s, y, and constant. It is your duty to always make y subject formula in equation of line. By the time you make y subject formula, you will arrive at something like y is equals m s plus c. c is the constant, s is a function, then you see your m like this. So what is in front of s after you make y subject formula is your gradient. And making y subject formula does not mean 2y or any value in front of y. y must stand alone. Then you have every other thing here so that you are able to arrive at your gradient. This is a very interesting and straightforward question because from here m is equals minus 4. And it is this gradient we are going to use for the second line. Because when lines are parallel, gradients don't change. But when they are perpendicular, the product of their gradients will be minus 1. Which means the second gradient will be minus 1 divided by the first gradient. I think food is ready. From this formula for equation of line, y minus y1 is equals m s minus s1. We therefore have y minus, this is s1, this is y1. So minus 3 is equals m, that is minus 4, s minus s1, 2. This gives us y minus 3 is equals minus 4s plus 8. And that is y plus 4s minus 8, 9, 10, 11, minus 11 is equals 0. I don't know the form they kept the answers, but let's see y plus 4s minus 11 is equal to 0. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Option D is the correct option. And take a look at this question carefully. It says, if two graphs, the first graph is y is equal to p s squared plus q and the second graph y is equals 2s squared minus 1 if they intersect find the value of p in terms of q they intersected as s equals minus 2 if you are told that two lines intersect it means this is equals this so if you make y a subject formula in both of them, and in most cases, y is already subject formula. For the lines to intersect, it means y is equals y, and everything here is equals each other, giving us p s squared plus q to be equals 2 s squared minus 1. And we are told that they intersected at s 
equal to 2. If the point of intersection is when s is equal to 2, then life is easy. This becomes p instead of s2. So that is 2 root squared plus q is equal to 2. 2 squared minus 1. That should give you 4p plus q is equal to 4 times 2. 8 minus 1, 7. The question is, find the value of p in terms of q. This is another way of saying, make p subject formula. If you are saying find a in terms of b, it means make a subject formula. If you are saying find s in terms of y, it means make s subject formula. So making p subject formula here is 4p is equal 7 minus q. p is 7 minus q over 4. 7 minus q over 4 is the value of p. And that makes option b so, 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 so familiar. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a look at this other question. Find the equation of line. Find the equation of line passing through the coordinates minus 2, 1, and minus 1 over 2 and 4. Find the equation of the line. This time around, we are not dealing with parallelity or perpendicularity. No. We are just looking for equation of a particular line. We are not comparing it to any other line as to whether they are parallel or whether they are perpendicular. And we are given all the coordinates. We are given S1, Y1. We are given S2 and Y2. And we know that our equation of the line is y minus y1 is equals m s minus s1 this is y minus y1 is 1 is m s minus s1 is what minus 2 so minus minus 2 that is plus 2 this is our equation of line but there is a problem what is the problem the problem is that we do not have a gradient there is no m but the solution is that we got everything we need to find m m gradient is y2 minus y1 all over s2 minus s1 and we got all that here y2 is 4 minus y1 is 1 over s2 s minus 1 over 2 minus s1 minus 2 so minus minus 2 take note of the signs this is 3 over minus half minus minus 2 that is plus 2 so minus half plus 2 minus 1 over 2 plus 2 lcm is 2 2 divided by 2 is 1, minus 1, plus 4. This is 3 over 2. So, minus half plus 2 is 3 over 2. 3 over 2. Gradient m is equals 3 divided by 3 over 2. And this is 3 times 2 over 3. This is equal to 2. The gradient is 2. So, life made easy y minus 1 is equals 2s plus 2 y minus 1 is equals 2s plus 4 so rearranging y minus 2s minus 5 is equals 0 let's see the form the option comes y is equals 2s plus 5 let's arrange it that way from here y is equals 2s plus if this minus 1 goes to mid 4 it becomes plus 1 so 4 plus 1 is 5 y is equals 2s plus 5 that makes a lot of sense so once you solve learn how to rearrange to meet what they want in the option don't because you get here and you look at the option ah nothing like that too. you say oh, 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 oh i'll fail no 
It is not like that. Ladies and gentlemen. Now look at this last question for this episode. It says, find the value of P if the line joining P, 4 and are perpendicular to the line joining 2, P and minus 1, 3. So we are told that this line and this line are perpendicular. The question is, find the value of P. We are not asked to look for equation of the line. Anytime you see question like this, have in mind that if two lines are perpendicular, m1, m2 is equal to minus 1. Once you multiply their gradient, you get minus 1. Or the gradient of one line is minus 1 divided by the gradient of the second line. Let's look for the gradient of the lines and multiply and equate to minus 1. With that, we should be able to get the value of p. From this one, this is S1, this is Y1, S2, Y2, S1, Y1, S2, Y2. So, M1, the first gradient is Y2 minus 2 minus Y1 4 over S2, C minus S1, P. So, this times y2 for the second line now y2 is 3 minus y1 p over s2 minus 1 minus s1 2 this is equals minus 1 ladies and gentlemen once you multiply this and make p solve that formula you'll be able to arrive at p is equals 4 it is a very very simple step. You can actually make it here easy for you to have minus six over six minus p, three minus p over minus three equals minus one. So from here, solve and get the value of p to be four, and that is option B. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the end of this episode. And I hope you found this helpful. Feel free to tell your friends about this. And don't forget to let me know how you feel using the comment. Take care of yourself.